In this video, we're going to show you how to amend your statement layout so that transactions are listed in date order. How you do this within your layout depends on the type of layout that you're using. Let's start by going into Statements. We'll open the Layouts folder and then scroll down the list of layouts. I'm going to select one of the default layouts that includes the word Individual within its description. So we'll select the layout and then click Edit. This opens your layout in the Sage Report Designer. Now just before we make any changes, we'll click Preview at the bottom of the screen. Click OK to accept the default criteria. The statement appears in this example that lists four transactions. As you can see, they aren't in date order. Instead, they're in the default order, which is transaction number order. So we're going to apply a sort to list them chronologically. We'll switch back into designer mode and then from the reports menu you choose sort. If we click add we leave the table set to audit header and from the variable drop down you choose date. We'll leave the date set to sort in ascending order and click OK. We'll then OK the sorts window and then click preview at the bottom to see the changes. Again we'll just accept the default criteria and as you can see the transactions are now listed in date order. We'll just switch back to the design view and we're ready to save the changes. So we open the file menu and as we've amended one of the default layouts we'll need to click save as. So we'll just need to enter a new file name and click save. And that's the process complete. If we close out of the report designer, close the layouts list and then go back into statements and the layouts folder and if we scroll down the list and we'll flag our new layout as one of our favorites just by clicking the little star and then if we preview our statement, accept the criteria and we can see that the transactions are listed in date order so we have saved the changes. Sorting transactions by date on a grouped statement layout is a little bit different. If we access statements and choose layouts and scroll down the list and we're going to use one of the default layouts that has the word grouped in its description. If we select it and then click Edit, the layout opens in the Sage Report Designer. Just before we make any changes, we'll just click Preview at the bottom, click OK to the default criteria, the statement previews, and again we can see that the transactions are in transaction number order rather than date order. To make the changes, we'll go back to Designer View, and because it's a grouped statement, we need to add a new section. From the Sections menu, we'll click Add a Section and then Group Header and Footer. From the Fields menu, in the bottom right, we expand the Audit Header table and then scroll down and choose Date. This adds Audit Header Date to the Expression Editor. You then click OK We've now got two new sections on our layout, an audit header date header section and an audit header date footer section. And what we need to do is move the audit header date footer section down one so that it's beneath the header number footer section. So to do that, we just click the arrow at the end of the section to move it down and that's it done. We'll now just preview the layout, accept the default criteria, and the transactions are now in date order. Now there are big gaps between the two transactions and we'll address this next. It's easy to remove the gaps, we'll just select the audit header date footer section and within the properties panel we'll amend the visibility section from true to false and that section is now hidden. We now just repeat that for the audit header date header section. So we select it, 
back into properties and again we'll amend the same setting amending it from true to false. The section is now hidden and if we now preview the layout OK the criteria the transactions are still listed in date order but they're now nice and compact so those gaps have actually been removed. If we now just go back to the designer view and we'll save our changes. So back to the file menu we'll click save as and give our layout a new file name. That's it all done we can now just close out of the report designer close the layouts list and just to confirm we've done everything right we'll go back into statements choose layouts and scroll down to our amended layout the start to flag it as a favorite and then preview it OK the criteria the transactions are still listed in date order and that's the process complete